Boom. Hey, David. This is Robbie from New York. How are you doing? Robbie, is that you? Oh, man, great. How are you doing? Yeah, man, I'm still in the city right now. Um, I really need to visit you in Scotland, man. I've been thinking about it a lot. I have to pay a visit. Really need a break. Oh, listen, we've got loads to catch up on. Uh, I'm no longer living in Scotland. I've moved to the island of Madeira. Wow, where is that? What is it called, Madeira? Yep, it's a wonderful Portuguese island. It's off the coast of Africa, in the middle of the Atlantic, would you believe? Wow, that's a big move. Yeah, my girlfriend's Portuguese. I think the last time we spoke, I was in New York, yeah, uh, we were shooting that golf passport program for the airlines, remember? Yeah, uh, yes it was. I could see a lot has happened since then. Well listen, if you really need to recharge your batteries, the best place, the actually best place, would be the neighbouring island of Porto Santo. It's only a two and a half hour trip on the ferry and we arrive in a totally different landscape. My friend can pick us up in his dune buggy and it's only a short ride to one of the rural quintas. And dude, the views along the way are totally amazing. I stayed at a Madeira Rural accommodation and this is the perfect place to relax. The house is great. It's a nice place either for a big family or a group of friends to be together and have parties. Man, that sounds great. What can you do on the island? The best feature about the place is the nine kilometre pure gold sandy beach, which would you believe has been scientifically proven to have healing properties. There was only two such beaches in the world, this one and another one in Japan. Besides that, Porto Santo is a paradise for younger folks and families alike, with lots of wonderful beach bars, great restaurants, and for golfers like me, a fabulous golf course. Man, that sounds great, man. Your kids must be getting on now. Time moves on, you know. But the best thing is, Abby's living here in Madeira also. On this last trip, Abby visited me and brought some of her friends. As I told you, this island's just great for young people. I met them at the pier and we kicked off with a bike ride. There's a bike line from the centre of the village all the way to the west end of the island where there's an excellent restaurant called Ocalietas. Then we hooked up with some other friends at the end of the ride and went for drinks. Before heading to the beach. Honest man, it's the perfect place in every way. And also, the ocean is absolutely gorgeous and so safe. Some days on the beach and sun? That's exactly what I need. Yep. And Robbie, I know how much you like to party. So guess what? The sunset parties here are fabulous. We went to this bar called Pen Agua and had the most amazing caparinhas and moringoshkas. I'm guessing you've heard of them, right? Same old Dave. You never stop, do you? Yeah, there's really loads to do on Porto Santo. There's wonderful walks. Porto 
Porto Santo is so diverse, you just can't imagine. And after that, the whole gang went horse riding on the beach. Can you believe it? Me on a horse. That night we had barbecue back at the house. Meat on the skewer, a typical Madeirian dish with bolo de caco. And since Quinta Rosario Coelho doesn't have any immediate neighbours, the music was loud and we were dancing and having fun till 3am. I'm in, man. The next morning, while the rest were still asleep, I went with one of Abby's friends that plays a bit of golf and we had a great morning playing the Seve Ballesteros Golf Course. They even have a nice driving range, Robbie. It's really good. Your father would love it. Especially holes 14, 15 and 16. Such amazing views. After the golf, a couple of pints at the clubhouse was just what we needed. Porto Santo has a lot of fine restaurants and one of my favourites is Tio de Rico where we all met up for ponches and a lovely farewell dinner. Man, you convinced me, Dave. You see, we just started. I'm gonna check on flights and plan this real soon. Check Azores Airlines. They've got a direct flight from JFK straight into Madeira, once per week. What? That's fantastic, Dave. Only one flight nonstop? I'll speak to you soon, Dave. I'm really looking forward to see you, Robbie. Why don't you just take five, come on over to the Hawaii of Europe. <laughs> okay, great. Bye, I'll see you soon, David. Right, man. All right, all the best. Speak to you soon. Bye. Wow. Fabulous. This has got no alcohol in it and it tastes like <laughs> <laughs> Get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know I can move, move, get up on the floor, I know